In this video, you're gonna learn how to improve your mixing and monitoring skills. And believe me or not, majority of producers don't even think about it. So we hear frequencies differently at different volume levels. The best example is bass. Louder volume means more of it, and quieter means less. To have the best monitoring experience, you need to aim at something between, like and this green line. But uh, how to get there? Don't worry. I will explain it to you in 5 easy steps. Following them, we will get you used to your monitoring level and tonal balance recognition. First, you need to decide what digital level you want to mix to. By that, I mean what LUFS is your target. If you're not familiar with LUFS, check our video about levels, all-in-one mixing and mastering meter. In fact, I'm gonna use it in this video. The majority of tracks I mix have a target between minus 10 to minus 8 LUFS, so in this example, let's use minus 9. Second step is to use pink noise as our calibration tool. Pink noise produces an equal amount of noise across the frequency spectrum. You can find it as a WAV file to download, test oscillator in your DAW, or in some plugins like this free one, surprisingly called Pink, from Craigland Audio. Open up the plugin and set the correct amount of noise. To be sure, use Levels LUFS section and adjust the signal to minus 9. If you don't have any acoustic treatment, you can restrict Pink noise with an EQ to 500Hz to 2kHz range. To minimize low frequency standing waves or reflections. Next thing you need is a SPO meter. It is a tool used to acoustic measurements. And in this example, we're gonna use it to measure the sound pressure of our monitors. You can get one of these on Amazon from 12 to 50 dollars or use an app on your phone. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use an app called Decibel X. It also allows to switch filter options, which will be very handy, since we need to use flatter C-weighted option. Now you need to work out what volume you want for your studio. 85 dB SPL used to be a common suggestion for monitoring levels, but this figure was intended for larger spaces, like cinema. This level would be super loud in most home studios, which are smaller than 142 cubic meters. Following the recommendations created by soundonsound.com, the best reference for smaller spaces is between 73 to 76 dB SPL. Now here is how to take the measurement. Place SPL meter in listening position. Set your monitor volume to its lowest setting, using your monitor controller or the actual volume on the monitors. Make sure output and master fader in your DAW are set to 0 dB and play your pink noise audio. Increase the volume of your monitors until SPL meter reads something between 73 to 76 SPL. You should now have your monitors calibrated to a loudness that works for your home studio space as well as the music you mix. Make note of the monitor level so you can quickly set the same level in the future. Although it doesn't mean that you can't go lower or higher. We all love listening to music loud. And quiet listening can help you to check if the right elements are poking through the mix. Hope that video helped you understand how important correct volume is. With a level set like this, you will get more balanced frequency response, which will help you consistently dial in the right amount of bass in your mixes. If you learned something new or you're just enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check our other videos for more mixing and music production tips.